Today we're going to be taking this PO4 power lithium iron phosphate battery from Gigaparts and ripping it to shreds! My name's Mike, K at MRD, and this is Ham Radio Tube. So generally these batteries are actually pretty darn good. I've reviewed these in the past. I have this exact battery, but this is one that they gave me when we were in Huntsville. We stopped by uh, the Gigaparts corporate uh, uh, shop and they gave this to me because this was returned. It's defective. It's, for some reason, it's not taking a charge. You can see there's, there's voltage. The meter works. It's doing the thing, but when we plug in a charger, here's a lithium iron phosphate charger plugging in and it just doesn't work at all. Nothing's, nothing's happening. The light is still green here on the charger. You can see this light should be red it, when it's charging, but it's not. So there's something going on. Uh, even if we plug it in to a 12 volt power supply, nothing's happening. So something's going on with this. I am curious to see what's inside. So let's start tearing apart this PO4 power battery. But since I'm so metal, and I'd rather not die today, we'll be a little safer. So our implements of destruction today will be a hammer. The flathead screwdriver has proved uh, pretty successful for us in the past. We may need to bust out the Dremel tool or the oscillating tool, I'm not sure. Go ahead and turn this off. I don't know if that's gonna matter, but we should just be able to put our safety glasses on and crack this seal here. I suspect it's probably a bad BMS. The cells are probably still good, but I'm curious to see. I know these batteries are manufactured in China for gigaparts to their specifications, but doesn't necessarily mean anything. We're starting to get into her. All right. Beautiful. A lot of foam and stuff around there, so we're gonna have to, we might have to get out some power tools. We got everything taped in place pretty well. Here's our, here's our watt meter there. Some silicone around there to keep that. I mean, it's that's pretty nice and sealed up, surprisingly. Let's go ahead and cut these. It's a nice meter. I wonder if I could salvage that for something. So here is our BMS. Let's look at there's the there's the solder job there. Not terrible, I've seen better. It's not quite as shiny as we'd like to see, but I mean, it's, it's on there. There's the underside. So there's whatever that means. I wonder if that's someone else's sticker. What does this say? HPO 7SA 20 amp. So it's a 20 amp BMS. So that's not bad. That is not bad at all. I want to get into the guts of this though. I want to see what kind of cells they are in here. And I think we're going to have to get out a power tool to do that. Dadgummit. I just cleaned in here. Let's see, what implement of destruction should we use? This one proved to be pretty, uh, pretty good last time. Let's try that again. The old handy Bauer oscillating tool from my favorite store, Harbor Freight. There's a bit of foam on the uh, on either side, so I'm not too worried about cutting into the battery itself. Come here, my precious cells. These guys do not want to come out. All right, I'm gonna cut all these balance leads. I can see the cells. I want you out. All 
All right, let's see here. We're getting somewhere. Was this a 12 or a 16 amp battery? Oh, it was a 12, okay. That makes sense, because we have six amp cells in here. Okay. Hold, please. It's as if they don't want us to take this apart. We can see there's all the nickel straps that are gonna connect all the cells together. And it looks like they've put quite a few spot welds on them, so. I mean, overall, initial first impressions, this is a pretty quality build. Let's find out if we dig deeper. And look at that, they got a, they got a bunch of welds on each cell there. Okay, so it's proving quite difficult to completely dissect this, but what we're seeing is an overall pretty, pretty good construction. I wish the soldering on uh, some of this was a little better, but I mean, I'm kind of nitpicking there. That's uh, not, a, not a bad solder job. It, it's on there. So the cells they're using are uh, 32700, 6000 milliamps. We've got uh, four in series and then two in parallel. So we've got basically four of these make one six amp hour battery. And then when you put two pairs of four in parallel, you get you double your, uh, your amp uh, hours without doubling the voltage. Uh, they all appear to be from uh, January 6, 2021. So they're all the same lot. Uh, I'm gonna guess just the BMS on this failed, which is, un which is unfortunate, but very, very solid build. I don't know how much more I can take this apart. This is, this is pretty on there. But these are the kinds of things you want to see from a quality battery. We've taken apart a lot of Chinese batteries from Amazon on this channel and we've seen uh, different capacities, different lot numbers. This is all the same capacity, all, uh, I don't see a lot number per se, but just the date that it was manufactured on. So uh, I'm going to say good job to Gigaparts. You're not using just cheap second grade cells or um, used cells that are that are overrated, you know, these could be like, you know, 7,000 milliamp hour batteries, but because they're derated, they've been in commission, they're, they're calling them, you know, six amp hour batteries. These are legit new cells. Uh, I don't know how long this battery has been out of service, but you know, two year old cells, they could be sitting in a factory somewhere. That doesn't bother me too much. Um, but uh, yeah, they've got nice spacers on here. Very good construction, just like uh, this is my battery that I built. You got these spacers on here, keep everything intact. I mean, it's it's legit. So there you go. Gigaparts gets the KMRD seal of approval on the PO4 power batteries. And if you'd like to pick up your own PO4 power battery from Gigaparts, use the link in the description with code KMRD and you can save 5% off your own lithium iron phosphate battery from Gigaparts. So that's all for now. We'll see you again on the next episode of Ham Radio Tube 73, guys.